So the next series of slides talk about the Python language, what it is, why do we need it? So you can read this slide, like the advantages of Python. I'm not gonna go in the details. But why Python? Python is, why is, is, is it so popular? One, it's very fast, it's powerful, it's cross-platform, meaning that the code that you write on a Mac can be run on a Windows and vice versa and so on. You can run the same code in Linux and so on. Hence, it's cross-platform, it's free, it's open source, you can download Python, you can download Python books and this and that. So it's uh, freeware, essentially. Hence, it's, you don't have to pay for royalties and this and that. So why not, right? Then there is a, another thing, programming environments. So how can you write code? You can write code in a text editor, for instance, your Word WordPad, your Notepad, your uh, like Linux editor, v VM, uh, VI, any type of editor that you can use to write code. Because again, remember, code is a series of instructions. If you know the language, you can just write the uh, piece of uh, code and you know that it can run, okay? Then there is something called an IDE or in Integrated Development Environment. So these are like, uh, you can think of these as uh, editors for writing code. So they are similar to your word processing software. So for example, you can write a note in Notepad, right? Which is a very basic note. You can write the same note in Microsoft Word. Which one would you prefer? Most people prefer Microsoft Word, right? Why? Because you have many fancy things that you can do with that one piece of code. You can highlight your code. Uh, you can see your paragraphs. You can see your uh, margins. You can see your print page print preview, etc., etc. You can highlight your text, etc. All those things you cannot do in a word uh, processor, sorry, uh, a notepad, right? Similarly, you can write code in a text editor, yes, well and good, but IDEs provide a better um, environment. It looks fancier, it becomes, it makes your task easier okay some examples are sublime text wing jupiter etc etc for the sake of this book and this class we use a software called genie okay so what do these ids have they have uh, you can write code you can see your output window you can debug your code etc etc so there are many easier things that you can do in an environment such as Genie, and that's why we like it in this class. For the sake of this class, because since you're beginning programmers, it's easier if you do it in a this type of environment. If I tell you to start writing code right away in Notepad, yes, we can do it, but it's 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 not that appealing. Okay, so let's look at the components of our Genie editor. The first is you have an editor window. Editor means you can write code instructions in here. Remember it's top down, the first instruction is read, the second is read, the computer will do whatever you tell it to do, okay? So let's say here we said print hello world. When you run your program, you can see down in the output window, only hello world is printed. So you told the computer two things. So you, the first line is highlighted in green. So that's a comment. And we're gonna discuss those things later, but it starts with the preceding uh, hash sign. So the compiler knows that this is going to, to be a comment. It does not execute it, this line. It reads this, says, okay, I need to go to the next line. But it does go through line one, two, three, all of those. So it will it comes to line one, says this is a comment, goes to line two. In line two, you tell it to print something. What is that something? Inside parenthesis, you say print this thing. Now when you, and that's it, that's your whole program. You run it, in the output window, it will say 
hello world whatever you told it to print inside quotes it prints that thing without quotes in the output screen okay so that's uh, what an editor is that you you can write your code you can run it and you can see your result right away if something wrong happens you get an error you will see that here as well and it will give you line numbers it will tell you the type of error and makes our life easier okay and then you can read the slide definitely that python is case sensitive uh, don't write a capital p here because computer will not understand that instruction uh, the compiler only knows p r i n t as all lower case okay and also if you see in the genie editor when you write code uh, it will give you different colors making your code reading easier better than a notepad right in notepad everything is written in one font one uh, font color you can't figure out one thing from another in in genie it will color code everything highlight underline etc etc based on uh, whatever you are doing okay so it's green here the first line because it's a comment then something is blue meaning it's a system command that you're telling uh, the system to do something and this thing is a reserved word for the language that you cannot uh, call anything print and when we talk about variables that thing will become clear but this thing is built into the language anything that's built into the language is shown as blue then something is printed as purple because that is going to the screen and so on okay and we will see all these things when we start writing code uh, then you compile your program obviously and uh, you have to save it and then you run it okay you if you are using a notepad editor you run by giving the python command in our case we will write python 3 because we're using python version 3 but even for that we don't have to write it because when you install genie uh the genie editor you will write these commands once when you configure your um genie editor as given in the instructions uh available to you so follow those instructions install it you will write it in one place and that's it from there onwards you will go in the editor and just click uh, run or uh, stop buttons you don't have to write this thing when you click this compiler will turn it into something like this and it will run your program okay compiler will compile the program it will run it and you will see the Uh, compiler executed code in the output window okay 